Yo guys, what is up, it is Nick. We are going to be starting Fallout New Vegas today. Uh, so, caravan, caravan pack items added to my inventory. Tribal pack items added to my inventory. Classic pack items. You're... Mercenary pack items. Week. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh... Let's go with the same name we used for three. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? All right. Female, do white. Uh, make her older. Not real. I guess it kind of does, but yeah, that's fine. Hairstyle. Let's see here. What does this look like? Probably gonna do domestic goddess. There's some crazy haircuts. What's the difference between seductress and domestic goddess? Okay, those... Okay, so that's domestic goddess. Okay, now what is... Seductor... Oh, seductress hair is kind of... I like the hair on seductress better. Duh. Let's go with a honey hair color. We don't even see our character that much, so it doesn't well, matter. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Okay. You're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay, here we go. So, um, okay, let's see. Melee unarmed in, okay. Lock pick. Uh,. Barter speech companion nerve. Skill points. Uh, agility, gun, sneak speed, luck, all skills, critical hits, enemy mishaps. Okay, so we get five points anyway. I wish there was like an easier way to look at these and remember what. Okay, so I'm thinking intelligence, agility. Maybe charisma, perception, maybe strength, I don't know. But definitely perception, charisma, intelligence, and agility. So let's do that. Charisma, intelligence, agility. We'll put an extra one into perception. We'll drop endurance one, we'll drop a luck one extra one there. I think intelligence. We'll go an extra into intelligence. Hmm. Do I want that or I could leave these at five. Yeah, let's just do that. Oops. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. 
Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter the big one and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Why is it telling me how to jump? Okay. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Okay, this isn't even important. Because I can just change it. Night. Bandit. Light. Mother. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Who sees... Oh, I guess I can kind of see the broken chain. I see the chemical reaction. I don't... Oh, I do. I see the shadow in the door frame. I guess that kind of looks like an oozing wound. And I do see an angry two-headed ant. So, I don't really know. I can see them all. Let's go with Broken Chain. Okay. How about this one? Well, I guess you could see that. I kind of see that. I don't really see that one. Ah, uh, sure. Last one. This looks like two sumo wrestlers giving each other a high five. Who sees a bearded man? A mushroom cloud. How does that look like a mushroom cloud? Looks like a plane, too. A head on a pillow? Whose head is shaped like that? Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Probably not. Nope. And uh, nope. Okay, I want lockpick. I want science. And I want speech. Alright. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Alright, choose two perks. Wild Wasteland. Okay. Huh. Small size, you have plus one agility, but your limbs are no. Um. No. You're good, but I'm gonna. It's not bad. Four eyes. Built to destroy. Okay, I'm gonna go good natured. And, um. Let's go wild wasteland. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Oh my lag. Okay, I don't, yeah, it's not stealing to take this crap from him, so I'm going to. <clears throat> Cram buffalo gourd seed. I don't know if you can eat that, but 
Why not? Oh. Hey. Alrighty, found some decent stuff. I don't really think there's anything else in here. Let's get out. Oh, Here, shit. these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. No, not gonna do hardcore mode. Alright, let's head out into the, into the wasteland. Um, I'm not gonna be recording these in bulk, uh, but I'm not gonna release them for a while, so... If I say something that sounds weird in one of these videos, that's probably why, because I'm pre-recording just a ton in advance, but not actually recording them all in one sitting. Uh, okay, this is the DLC. That's all the DLC stuff, alright. They went that away. Gunrunner's Arsenal, okay. Have all the DLC, so... That's what that's loading. I think Sunny Smiles is in here. Yeah. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright, so we need to go meet Sunny Smiles outside the back. Sierra Madre Grand Opening. Okay, dead money increase. So, what is your level cap now? Like 45 or 35 or something? It's gonna let me go out this door. Good. Okay, sometimes it's like, oh no, that's a red door. You gotta go out a different way. Okay. Oh, um, well, I got some different pistols here. Let's throw that on. No, I don't want the, I want the, that. Okay. All I know is this pistol sucks. That's all I remember. What does B do for me? Why did I remap? I'm trying to figure out why I remapped. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a... That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? I'm just not gonna go do Shoot that. yourself. Hope this helped you some. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Alright, so let's go talk to Trudy. Let me shoot the rest of these bottle caps. Or bottle bottles, not bottle cap. For fun, because why not? Can you pick these up? What? Don't ask me why I'm wasting ammo. 
What the hell? Okay. Okay, let's stop jacking around. I don't really need to do that tutorial. So that's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> let's see. Where is the bartender? Maybe I should put my gun away. Get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I'm sure I've got something you like. Do you? No, you really don't. Oh, meeting people. Um, I want to go by. There we go. Mercenaries grenade rifle. Varmint rifle. Okay. Um. Well, I don't really need that, and it weighs a ton. Let's sell this at least. That kind of sucks. I don't know what this does. It minus HP. So let's go ahead and sell that stuff. Um. Let's sell this. Get that out of here. Um. Let's. Don't really have anything to sell. Yeah, let's buy the meeting people, wherever that is. It's under aid. Fixing things. Meeting people. Salesman weekly. Wow, she's got 10 cents at sarsaparillas. I'm gonna buy those. Um, I think that's all I need. Yeah, so I gotta get to whatever that is. Let's go ahead and sell the tribal raiding armor. There we go. Should I sell the white lightweight leather? Yeah, I'm gonna sell the lightweight leather as well. Okay, we're done. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. What the hell is your problem? I don't think I have a current objective anymore. Do I have a quest? Track down. No, these are all. Wait, no, 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 no. This is it. There we go. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this armor on. Let me read these. That's how that works, right? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that's how it works. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, speech is at a 47 now. Nice. Repairs at a 32. Alright, good stuff. So I'm not entirely sure where I need to go now, but we'll figure it out. Hey. Always figure it out. Alright. Let's take a look at our world map. So, right, actually right here is the first one, I think. And there's something right over here that's important use this pistol for the little ammo I have for it, then we'll switch out to a different gun. Is that thing hostile? Come here! I think it's what I need to talk to. Come here! Stop running away! Come here! Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Oh, uh, how'd you happen to find me? I should probably start reading these. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Um, let's, thank you. Happy trails! Okay, so now we need to head this way. We need to find these guys that tried to kill us. Kill them. I don't know who I'm going to side with in this. Um, I remember this game more in Fallout 3, but I still don't remember it that well. 
Um, I think it was... Oh, those books wear off? Oh, alright, well. I'm stupid. Probably should have saved those. But no, um, I don't know what made me think that those were like a permanent thing. Like, you read the book and you get it permanently. But no, I'm stupid. But it's whatever. Oh, uh, let's keep going. I don't need to change my character. We can rock and roll in third person here for a little bit. How far away is this place that we're going? Holy shit! This is a long walk. This is a long haul for episode one. We're just traveling. Duh. Scaling a mountain. It's always good. Not even there's no enemies, so this is kinda weird. I think I'm playing on like normal or easy or whatever. I don't even know what I'm playing on, but I'm not playing on like hard or very hard. Because this is just uh this is just um to try to get me, you know, ready for Fallout 4. Not really get me ready, but I want to play Fallout 4, so I want to play Fallout 4 right now, so this kind of tames the urge to want to play it. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing too many side quests. Um, I want to make this a decently quick playthrough, to be honest, because I want to get into, before the summer's over, doing a few Dark Souls 2 Let's Plays and playthroughs. So, that's uh, that's going to happen. I'm going to do, I don't think I updated Dark Souls 2 for 360 yet, so I might do like a vanilla playthrough on the game. Not Scholar of the First Sin, and then have Scholar of the First Sin when I play on the Xbox One. I think that's probably the best idea. Alright. Oh yes, I know where we're going up here. I remember this. This has like the roller coaster. This would be a sweet ass mall with a roller coaster outside. Because uh, that's, that's not, yeah, that's not train track. What am I saying? I was like, oh, maybe it's a train track. No, it's not as cool, but... What train track have you ever seen that goes around like that? This is weird that I just made this whole entire walk. And there, I really don't get why I remapped what I did. Why is B not... B, like, does nothing. I don't even know what B does. Because this X, X is still reload. Okay, I don't know what B does anymore. You know what, I'm gonna remap that. It's gameplay. No, display. Is it the, this one? No, controls. Action mapping. What is B? Grab is B. Huh. Let me change that. Grab is back. Pit Boy is B now. Okay, good. That's what I want. Because Fallout, on Fallout 3, B was... B was for Pit Boy, so... That's what I want. Okay, so I think all my controls are relatively the same now, except for grab is back, but you don't do a whole lot of grabbing shit, so... I don't think I really need to have to worry about that! Alright. Almost here, guys. Almost to where we need to be. Slide down that. The only reason I passed up that tutorial is kind of because, you know, I'm not trying to, like, speed through this, power through it extremely fast, but I am trying to go through it in a decent time, and do we really need that tutorial? I feel like if you've watched the Fallout 4 Let's Play by now, you would have seen that, so I don't really think it was necessary that I do it. Oh god, where's the entrance to this thing? Hey, 10 experience. Prim. show I watch at work on Saturday mornings when I'm working. Her name is Prim. Spain and Prim on ESPN Radio. Hey, where okay. the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. I keep forgetting to read because this is like the only game I have to re read. Even The Witcher 2 I don't have to read. Um... And, like, in Dead Space, there is no, like, dialogue options, so I really don't have to talk then. And, uh, Dark Souls 2, there's not any dialogue for your character, which I kind of like. I kind of like that. I hope in Dark Souls 3, there's no dialogue. I'm gonna, oh my gosh, when Dark Souls 3 comes out, holy 
moly, that's gonna be crazy. I'm just gonna do video series on video series on video series for that shit. Just, oh god, I'm setting off everything. Just jump. I wasn't paying attention, damn it. Didn't see the mines. Uh, damn it. Had a waste of doctor's bag already. Should probably use two sunset sarsaparillas. So where is it wanting me to go? Is it inside this building? I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it is. Oh shit! Drop him. Reload. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Reload. I know how to use bats. Wow, his head's only a sixty. What? There we go. He's down. You got him, coach. Three. Oh, he's got some decent stuff here. Dynamite. Fixer. Bottle caps. Pack of cigarettes. Oh, hold on. I want your fireman rifle. Go. So I got eight bullets left in this pistol until then I'll switch it out. Oh, nine millimeter pistol. Case. Bottle caps. Stim pack. Ooh. That's nice. Okay, so we need to go into. Vicky and Vance Casino. I don't remember a lot of the early game stuff for Fallout 4, but it's not a big deal. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily. For what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? What well, can you tell me about this job? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Some men stole my package. A man is in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Um, I, I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. Okay, so what does he have? Weapons wise. Eh. I'm gonna use we'll go over to weapons and I'm gonna sell I don't need well, we'll keep the binocular for fun. Sell the broad machete, sell my dynamite. Okay. Oh, wow, what the six fifty seven. Okay, Another hold on bro, I'll be right back. Customer. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the armor off of the guys that I left outside and sell that to him, because he's got some decent caps. So, let's loot these guys. What is Tex's take-all? Alright. Take that stuff from them. We'll give it to this guy. We'll sell it to Nash. Should have named him Steve. They had their chance. They should have named him Steve. Alright, where'd he go? Where the hell did this dude go? Oh god, now I gotta find him. Um, that's stealing. Where is this dude? Homie, where are you? I need to sell some stuff. Hey there. Um, the hell is he? 
He just straight up disappeared. Howdy. Hold on. No, wrong button. Is it worth it? It's worth it. Howdy. Now where... Where is this dude at? Howdy. There he is. Johnson. Hey, youngster. I need to sell you some stuff. Okay, so let's sell the cleaver. That's worth nothing. That's great. Tire iron, that's worth nothing. Um. Okay, that really wasn't worth it, but that's fine. Uh, pack of cigarettes, we can sell that. Hammer, empty syringe. Alright, so not much, but I guess it, it works. So let's buy some 9mm ammo. And... What ammo does that shotgun that I have take? It takes 12 gauge. Let's grab that up. Okay, I think that's it. I don't have anything else to sell, I don't think. Alright, so we'll pay him 48 Pleasure caps. Doing business with you. That saved us like 30 caps or 40 caps, but uh, now I got some more ammo for this pistol. I got some nice ammo for the shotgun. And a little bit of ammo for this uh, weather 10mm. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.